What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. We are in late season, late, late January, mid January in Ohio deer season. We are at my glorified ground blind, AKA the cabin. Check it out. Yep. So I am with my little girl, Evelyn Rose. Evelyn, can you say hi? Hi. So we came hunting. The plan is go up top. However, it is pretty cold. It is going to be in the mid 20s in the morning and we it, it's a pretty steep climb up there it's about 15 20 minute hike um i don't want to get cps called on me or anything so uh, i'm not going to take a little girl on a death march up the hill uh, she can make it absolutely but i'm worried about her freezing once we get up there um, just because you sweat so much getting up there so we're in my glorified ground blind aka the cabin we have a field all around us. Um, this is not occupied, it's very small. Um, I mean, like I said, it's basically a glorified ground blind. Uh, the deer have been showing up, they've been coming out in the morning and the evening, right at dusk, right at dawn. Um, so let's let's give it a try. If it's looking like it's gonna be too cold. If not, we got our gear, we're gonna go up. Uh, what I wanna do real quick, let's give a quick tour of the cabin. So here it is, Evelyn. Say hi again. Hi. Working on the fire, getting the wood burner going there. Um, so right back through these two windows, that's basically mainly where they travel. We have a little table here, the kitchen for the glorified ground. Oh yeah, we got the range, baby. I was shooting some shots here. Shoulders been bugging me. Shower, bathroom. Excuse that if you're not a fan. We are season ticket holders. I apologize. Big game this weekend. So, um, living room. Again, the wood burner. Evelyn's chilling on the couch. It's about bedtime. And then we have the loft right up here. Yep. Yep. Looks pretty cozy. That's our bed. Yeah. Got the old rifle posted up. Yeah. So, hey, girlfriend. We can go hunting in the morning? Yeah. Evelyn and I are also going to go for a ride. Brought the old side-by-side. -side. We're going to rivet. We had to get out of the house. What better way to get a hunt in, in the morning? Have a nice toasty fire. Watch them play a football. And rip the side-by-side -side through the mud. Right, Evelyn? Yeah. Yeah. So... This is it, glorified ground blind. It is a small cabin. Yeah. What are you doing? You're hilarious. It is a small cabin. It's been in my family yeah. 25 years now. So we're gonna enjoy the weekend, hit that side by side. Hopefully we can get some meat in the freezer. Um, there's no bucks down here. They're, they're not gonna show up down here. Mm -mm. Um, too much travel. Yep, she knows. Maybe a spike or two. So hopefully we can put a nice freezer princess in the freezer. Right, baby? Yeah. Love you. Love you. All right, let's see if we can get it done. All right guys, so video just kind of cut off there. Things got a little interesting. Uh, so basically, as you can see, I made the shot on the doe and um, Evelyn 
She's acting a little funny, so for recovery, uh, she's acting like she's cold and she's never cold. So for recovery, I figure I'd put her in the side-by-side -side, uh, while I'm field dressing the deer and getting everything. That way she stays nice and warm. And even in the side-by-side, -side, she was freezing and it's got like blasting heat. So uh, kind of got a little concern there. Um, kind of felt her and she felt real warm, warm and wasn't acting like herself. So we rushed to the nearest town, which isn't near at all. Uh, South Bloomingville, they had nothing. But then we rushed to Laurelville. They had nothing with, as far as children's pain medicine goes. So I uh, had to load everything up and head home. Apparently there's a shortage on children's Tylenol and Motrin and stuff. So uh, we headed home. She had a fever of 105 and unfortunately she did have to go to the emergency room. She's fine now. Can you wave Evelyn? Yep, she's all good. She had what's called rhinovirus. Um, never heard of it, but um, no, she did not turn into a rhino, obviously, and she's doing well. So kind of ended our weekend a little short, but we got meat in the freezer. Um, that is it for the 2022-2023 deer season. So on to new things. There's a lot of work to do for next season. So please hit that like and subscribe. Follow along, guys. Uh, we got lots of stuff. Shoot-offs coming up. Uh, turkey season's right around the corner. We're going to see if we can get in the woods and help control the predator population as well. So thanks for watching and have a great day.